Okay, so today we are on the hunt for a, um, a what's called a snifter valve. It's like a um, pressure release valve. Uh, it's a I'm gonna go on the pipe for uh, Jeffy Bear's shower setup. So he's looking for a valve to attach to it so that he can pressurize it, uh, but he's having a hard time finding a valve for it. And apparently he ordered one off of, I think, Amazon, uh, but it turned out it was too big. So there's one that I have in mind that I've looked up for him, um, and it's called a snifter valve. So we're going to Canadian Tire in a town called Surrey, or city called Surrey, um, just outside of Vancouver. <clears throat> it says that they've got five in stock. I called them to confirm. They said yes, indeed, they had five in stock. So we're on the way there now, and I'll take a look at it, see if it's the right size. They said it's a quarter inch. Um, that should be big enough, or small enough, rather, and it's, it shouldn't be too big. So I'm going to go take a look at it, take a snapshot of it, forward it to Jeff, see if he's uh, on board with it, and if it's the one he's looking for, I'll get it. And then we'll run it up to Squamish. So that's going to be the plan today. It is uh, 10 after 3 in the afternoon, so we're getting kind of late, but ah, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. So I'm just uh, trying to navigate. I've got my Google Maps on the go. And uh, yeah, it'll let me know when we're there. So let's go find that valve. There's Canadian Tire. Okie dokie, so we're here. And, um, oh, I can't spin this around now, darn it. All right, so we'll have to do this because I can't see what I'm looking at. Um, anyway, so we're here. So the snifter valve is, uh, it's essentially a uh, pressure, pressure release valve. It's all it, kind of like the valve that's on, uh, car tires or bike tires where you fill it up and it holds the pressure. Um, so this is what Jeffy Bear and Mark are looking for to add to the end cap of their um, tubes that they're using to put on top of their vans to put water in so they can utilize it as a shower, outdoor shower. So in order to pressurize it so it pushes the water out through the, the hose and the nozzle that they use to shower with, they need to put pressure into it so they need these valves. So we're going to go into Canadian Tire and take a look. Uh, it's called a snifter valve um, and yeah, uh, they're saying it's a quarter of an inch online so I can't gauge the size of it just based on the picture alone but a quarter inch shouldn't be that big it should be small enough I think that's what they're looking for so anyway let's go take a look and uh, hopefully it's the right size okay so I got them uh, what I didn't realize is that they had two different sizes one quarter and one eighth inch so I texted Jeff, hoping that I would get a response quickly, but it didn't happen. So I just went ahead and I bought two of each size. So I got four of them. Two that are a quarter inch and two that are an eighth inch. So return policy, I'll get my money back. And if, uh, if none of them are the right size, well, I can still take them all back. So that works. I think that's the one they're looking for. Sorry, hang on. There we go. Take that silly thing off. So, I'll show them to you. All right. So that's what a snifter valve looks like. So this is the end that goes inside the tube. Uh, I would imagine they put a rubber gasket uh, or, or an O-ring to uh, journey, that's enough please, uh, to seal it so it doesn't leak. And they probably silicone it or glue it, whatever. And this part goes inside the tube. 
This is the part, obviously, the cap screws off. I think there's one in here without a cap on it. Yeah. So the cap comes off, and essentially you fill it in this end just the same as you would with your tires on your vehicle or on your bicycle, whatever. So you fill it, and then, of course, the cap goes on. So this is the 1 8 inch, and then that's the quarter inch. So they're a little bit... Little, little difference in size, of course, but I think that's what Jeff is looking for. So let's hope that that's what he's looking for. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm in a town called Surrey, city of Surrey, uh, in the lower mainland. So it's, I'm just, Surrey is like, I don't know, half an hour-ish east of Vancouver, sort of southeast of Vancouver. Um... What time is it? It's probably around four-ish now, maybe three thirty, four o'clock. So, I don't know. Let's take a trip to Squamish and see if Jeffy Bear needs these snifter valves. If not, there's a Canadian tire up there. I could take these back. I can return them to any Canadian tire. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. So, we got them, and I'm hoping that these are the right size. Anyway, he's had a rough time trying to find these pieces. And uh, I think he's getting frustrated. He just wants to get it done before he makes his big trip. So I'm trying to help him. And these apparently, they've kind of been like a unicorn piece where they're hard to find. So uh, a couple weeks ago, well, maybe more than a couple weeks ago now, I looked at the same product online at several Canadian tires and a lot of them had them in stock. Like maybe one in stock or two in stock. Not a lot. So today when I went online to look at all the Canadian lo Can Canadian Tire locations, very few had them in stock. So this one that I'm at right now had the most in stock. Five. So uh, they had five of the quarter inch and I think three of the eighth inch. Anyway. Good stuff. Uh, I'm really hoping they work out for him. So let's make the trip to Squamish now. <laughs> Do I have enough coffee? I don't know. It's going to be a long drive. Okay, let's go. We made it to uh, Squamish, so it's not raining up here. It was misty and miserable, <laughs> that stuff down in Surrey, but uh, it's actually quite nice up here. Cloudy still, but uh, it's quite nice. Let me flip this. So as you can see, clouds are above the mountains, uh, but no rain right now. I just had the girls out. We walked all the way around the field here and then cut across um they ran around did their thing pooped and peed not that you need to know all the details but anyway so they had some exercise uh jeffy bear is not here i did see um young jared and uh his girlfriend maddie uh though i didn't actually see them or talk to them or their van was here uh, they've since gone but and i think is it josh and rachel I believe, are the other young couple with another sprinter van that um, that's up here with them. But again, I didn't actually see or talk to them, so. Uh, well, we just have to figure out where Jaffy Bear might be. I texted him, but no answer. They could be in the back bush having a fire. Not quite sure. So I may or may not go and poke my nose up the back road to see if they're out in the bush, but they could be anywhere at this point. 
I know Jeff was talking about going over to the island, so there's even a good possibility that he may have uh, skipped over to the island. But we'll see. Anyway, I will uh, try and figure out what my next step is. And it's getting late, so I might even try and think about what to have for supper. So we'll see. Anyway, see you in a minute. Okay, so yesterday I arrived in Squamish and we were trying to find uh, Jeffy Bear so that I could give him the uh, snifter valves that I got for him. But he was not here. I couldn't find him. The reason being, he was down in uh, the Vancouver area. So <laughs> I uh, we kind of switched places. Anyway, he's here now. He arrived last night, him and Mark. And so I'm just coming to the park now to walk the doggies. And I'm assuming that when Jeffy Bear gets moving, he'll likely come up here and I'll see him. So at some point I will give him his snifter bells. So let's go for a walk first. Well, we found Jeffy Bear and Mark. So you can see their vehicles are uh, back there behind me here. And uh, anyway, they've got their snifter valves. They're happy. Uh, they're the ones that they were looking for. So glad that we could help them out. And uh, yeah, so we're just hanging out for a little bit longer. And then I think we're gonna head back down to um, the Vancouver area. So now I think we're going to take a little trip out to Harrison Hot Springs, which a friend of mine is out there camping at Sasquatch Lake Park, or Sasquatch Park. Um, she's got a campsite out there for a couple of nights, and I think we might just take a trip out there and visit her and see what it's all about. All right, let's go. All right, so we've left Squamish now. It's uh, 12 noon, and... Uh, we're going to head to Harrison Hot Springs to see a friend of mine. Uh, I only stayed overnight in Squamish uh, the one night. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety right now, so I'm deciding to leave. Um, I gave Jeffy Bear the uh, snifter valves, one for him and one for Mark. So they've got their uh, pieces that they need to finish off their... Uh, shower tubes um, so I hope that works out well for them and uh, I hope that it's the right piece uh, to do the job um, I stayed for a little bit saw Mark Jeffy Bear uh, Jared young Jared with his dog Finn Finn's so cute he's getting so big and uh, Joseph stopped by. So we all chit-chatted for a little bit. And uh, I feel like I'm intruding. Um, so I made a decision to leave. Uh, and that's okay. That's My anxiety kicks in. And, but I, I feel like I'm intruding. So I don't want to be intruding in their little circle of friends and um, make things awkward so uh, I decided to leave. Anyway so we're off to Harrison Hot Springs it's gonna be a nice drive. It's not raining still overcast it's a little bit warm. Um, I see some blue sky over towards Vancouver so that should be uh, nice over there. I don't know what it's like up in Harrison but we'll soon find out. Okay I may have to make a pit stop. I might pick up a few things to uh, take with me out to the campsite at Harrison uh, in case I do stay overnight um, with my friend Ellen, uh, just so I have some food and, and some stuff. Anyway, let's continue the drive.
Harrison Hot Springs. This is Harrison Lake. Uh, if you're curious about this place, uh, just look it up online. Harrison Hot Springs, BC. It's a beautiful place. 